All right, welcome back to part two of our VM series. Today we're going to create a very simple VM. Last time we did it via the portal. Today we're going to create one via PowerShell. And here are the steps we're going to follow. We're going to launch the Azure Cloud Shell. Uh, there's two ways to do that. One, you can do that uh, you click right here. Or you could go to uh, open up a new tab in your browser and put a full command line uh, as well. We're going to create a resource group, create a virtual machine, connect to the virtual machine, install IIS, view the web server in action, then clean up our resources. And uh, let's get started. All right, so I'm going to click right here to uh, get my cloud shell. If this is the first time you're uh, launching the power the cloud shell, it may ask you to create a storage, and I'll call it cloud shell storage East US uh, by default. Yeah, the first thing we need to do is to create a resource group. So we're going to give that command new az resource group. And we're going to give it a name of speed rg. And the location will be east US. Excellent. Now, the next step is to create the actual VM. So a new AZ VM. We got to tell what resource group we want to create it in. We're going to call that speed RG. Or that's what we just, just named it. The name of the VM, speed VM. There we go. Location East US. Virtual network name. You can see I'm just typing a few characters and hitting the tab key. We'll call this speed VNet. Then, of course, we're going to, if we're creating a VNet, we need a subnet. We're going to call that speed subnet. We want a security group. Uh, let's see. SEC. Uh, I'm going to have to type that one out. Or did I make a mistake somewhere? No. Just, just not having the security group name. We'll call it speed. NRG. I'm losing my tab, so something went astray here. Virtual network name. Let's call it Speed VNet. There we go, that's better. Security group name. Speed NSG and subnet name speed subnet public IP address name speed VM PIP. How about that? And of course, we want to open up ports so we connect to it via RDP as well as access our default web page. So we're going to open up ports 33, 89, and 80. Let's look at our line here. If you remember the portal, these are basically the things we defined when we created this simple VM in the portal. We have to tell what resource group to go to, uh, the name of the VM, location, 
uh, the VNet security group, subnet name, or define a subnet, public IP address, and then we're going to put those ports. Then you're probably thinking to yourself, what about username? How am I going to log into it? Well, it should prompt us here. I'm going to call it speed. Give it a password. And we're at 1%, 2%, 7%. I'm going to pause the video. When we get to about 90, I'll start it again. There we go. Missed it a little bit, but you can see it finished. And what it's going to do is listing all of the settings of the VM. So it goes and tells you what resource group it created in, the subscription. What kind of resource it is as far as Azure goes, hardware profile, and, uh, and we got a successful provision. And there's the name. Okay, the next thing we want to do is get the public IP address. So we'll say get az public IP address resource group name and if I do a refresh up here we should see our new group called speed RG and there it is and let's do a select on IP address and there it is there's our IP address so we'll need that. Let's see if I can copy that to the clipboard. Boom. And I'm going to RTP to that machine. So I'm going to go to here. VM might be a little slow because the VM just literally got created. So let's do a connect. I think we call it speed. All right, I'm inside our the VM that we just created called Speed VM, and I'm opening up PowerShell so I can install uh, the web server or IIS. Just waiting for it here. Close that one. All right. So now we want to install IIS. Install. I think it's waiting for me to catch up. Yeah, we'll see in future videos on how to define the, the VM size we want. 
and we want web server and include management tools. All right, this will probably gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna pause. All right, you can see we're at 85% now, 87, 88. Eighty-nine. I wonder if this will be one of the times where we sit at one hundred percent for a long period of time. Ninety-two. All right, there we go. Successful. All right, so I'm going to close out of our VM here. Here's a sample of the Big Cloud shell. And I'm going to type in the IP address. I wonder if I still have it on my clipboard. I do. And there's our web page on our VM. So it was a lot like the lab from last time where we used the portal, but it was much quicker and a little easier once you have the scripts. So uh, it took us 12 minutes. So thanks for watching. In the future, we'll have uh, some more videos on VMs. We'll get into uh, creating the images, how to make highly available VMs, how to create a skill set, load balance in VMs, learn how to back up. Uh, how to monitor and update them. So uh, good stuff coming up. Thanks for watching.